Oh my god, meme regime. You're gonna love it, dude. So I was gonna record a video today. I, I won't have time today. I won't have time today to record the video. But tomorrow, do you want me to record the video? I will record a video on how to play. I was gonna record a video of how to play Neon, right? So Neon is super simple. So you just grab the tab and then you just get your fingers out and you just go. Oh my God, this is gonna be so brutal. I haven't played Neon since I did that. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be sucky. All right. First world problems, y'all. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna be spicy. Oh, I don't think I can do it with my third finger. Oh, well. Yeah, so super simple. You just gotta play the riff. And then what you gotta do is while playing the riff, you just gotta go. Sky blue gets dark enough. And see the colors of the city lights. So once you got that down, it's pretty much easy. Um, and that's my two cents on how to play neon. Good luck. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna play it now for you. No, I'm kidding. That's not how the, the tutorial is actually gonna go. Uh, the tutorial is gonna be way more um, in, in depth, but the way you wanna approach neon, because uh, a lot of people like us, I get this question ever since we did the neon video and everyone was like, oh my God, how do I play neon? Um, there's two things that you need to understand when you're playing a song, uh, especially if you're trying to impress a girl, right? Uh, so if you're trying to impress a girl, it's the same concept of, as impressing an audience or anything like that. Um, just, we need to know real quick, uh, meme regime, does the girl know how to play music? That's the first question I have. Is she a musician? And, and also, is she very well versed in guitar? Yes, but not great. Okay. Like cowboy chords. Okay. That's cool. That's still enough. All right, so she will be impressed if you can play Neon just alone, right? Now, okay. <laughs> Number one, well, because you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta cover bases, right? Like, I gotta, you gotta understand what, who is the audience. So typically, you just need to be listenable. Especially, I mean, if the person's a musician, it's a bit more challenging. Like, my wife isn't a musician, but she's a big lover of music. So when I sang her, um, country songs, she just said to me, she was like, wow, you just ruined my favorite song. This sucks. And I was like, damn it. But on the other spectrum, um, but she was already like, we were already, you know, forever going to be together. So I had nothing to lose at that point. I just had to, I mean, well, I didn't, she didn't like that I failed on the song, but that also set a very low bar for when I nailed the song. And then she's like, oh my God, you went from shit to good? Yes. And so I was like, hell yeah. Um, and if you're wondering which song it was, there was two songs that I totally failed. Um, uh, one was uh, Break Up With Him by Old Dominion. I remember playing that song to her for the first time and she was like, wow, that was really garbage. Uh, and then the second one was Friends in Low Places. And she was like, you just ruined my favorite song of my childhood. So yeah. And I was like, but she was right. Um, and that's the beauty of Sarah. If you ever meet Sarah or you hang out with Sarah, she, is, um, she will not sugarcoat it. And uh, that's why I've gotten to where I've gotten now. Uh, but anyway, back to Meme Regime and his date that he has to impress in a week. Uh, I'm playing Neon. So, so this, is, this is the Neon... <laughs> this is the, uh, the Neon tutorial on how to impress a girl while playing Neon. Um, so basically what you need to do is you need to hit listenable and it's about singing the song. So basically um, you just need to go like this and that's it. When sky blue gets dark enough to see the colors of the city lights a trail of ruby red and diamond white it's like a sunrise. That is your first goal. That is the only goal. And, you, and you, you don't have to do full subdivisions. You can do it in half subdivisions. When sky blue gets dark enough To see the colors of the city lights Funny, right? That's what you need to aim for first, Meme Regime. If you can do that, that's already, I swear to God, if you did that, she will still be impressed.
um, you will get a second date. I, I promise you. Now, to add the fills, right? So when you are practicing this song and you're trying to practice and sing it, it's quite challenging because um, a lot of people will be like, I need to learn the guitar part and then I need to learn the singing and then I need to put it together. It's like, I actually kind of want to do it together at the same time. There will be a lot of crashing and burning. Like, seriously, like the amount of times you will crash and burn, just so many times. So, just so many times. Um, but what you want to do is you want the crashing and burning to be in time. Because if you can crash and burn in time, then it's still listenable. So that is the trick, right? So you can crash and burn while in time and you will always nail it. So, so I would go, when sky blue gets dark enough, then when sky blue, when sky blue gets dark enough, See the colors of the city lights A trail of ruby, red and dime Why? So all I'm doing here is just get the chord shape first When sky blue, that's over that one Gets dark enough Oh wait, when sky blue Oh, it's this one first Dark enough When sky blue gets dark enough So you got this shape here that's the first one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. So you're literally pretty much just doing two shapes. Uh, so, well, three, so this is the first one. So once you nail this first one, so that's like, the first one, you're just gonna get your first finger, uh, eighth fret, B string, and then 10th fret, G string, and then the next shape is gonna go over here. So you're gonna go to the, it's like a G minor kind of style, but obviously you've got the root note on the, drop C, but basically you're just barring down on the third fret and putting your second finger on the fourth fret uh, B string, and then you're coming over to this bad boy here. This is the only tricky chord shape that you're gonna have to nail in neon. Um, so you're gonna have five on the e, low E string, then you're gonna have six on the D string, uh, three on the G string, and four on the B string. So you're just gonna get that bad boy. And now then the, those two shapes, just remember that, bomb, bomb, is the exact same thing that comes over here on the eighth fret. Oh, he does it slightly different. So instead of doing it like that, you're just kind of, just kind of pivoting your third finger just to make sure it's like doubling up. So you'll be 10, 10, so 10 on the low E, 10 on the D string, uh, seven on the, on the G string, and then eight on the B string. Staying in pitch while singing? Hold on a sec, I got you, dog. We'll get there. So now, the first step to being listenable, sing the lyrics in time. That's it. I mean, not even the lyrics. You can even muck up the lyrics. Ideally, you would want to sing the lyrics correctly, but you just need to get the vocal rhythm in time. Da, 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 da. And da, 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 get dark enough. Da, see the colors. Uh, it's so hard to make up other random licks. When I went out to somewhere tonight I made up lyrics for a different song Mixed drinks, I don't know the next words And it hit her like a sunrise So you can kind of like, the lyrics are not super, super important because typically if you were like fully convicted on like bad lyrics, um, other people can kind of hear the, the correct lyrics in their head. They'll be like, oh, that's not really the right words. Um, but the amount of songs that I sing wrong to you guys and I have never had a complaint, like I'm not kidding, I sing so many songs wrong to you, s complete wrong lyrics. Um, and you, if you guys can pick them out, I would love to, I would, it'd be very funny. But the lyrics and the vocal melody are not really that important, but the vocal rhythm and the guitar rhythm are the like, if you mess that up, you're, you're done. You are you are completely done. And then it, then if she wants to go on the second date, it is, that's a sympathy thing. That's not because you earned it. Um, I don't think, unless you're getting points for trying, I don't know if you're gonna get points for trying, but. Uh, but anyway, meme regime. So basically that's how we're gonna do it. You're gonna jump in, you're gonna play it in time. Um, you're just going to practice the vocal rhythm in time. Rhythm always greater than notes, always greater than notes. Now you get those chord shapes, those, those ones we just worked through. Just like that, right? 
Now, all you're going to do is don't try and do the, like, isolating them. Just move your fingers up and down and just play the chord shape. When sky blue gets dark enough Just see the colors of the city lights A trail of booby red and down white Hits it like a sunrise She comes and goes She comes and goes Like no one Sky blue gets dark enough See the colors of the city lights A trail of ruby bed and why Can you see how I'm really making mistakes here? And it's not it, it's not right. 100 percent it's not right. Like I'm not trying to say like this is the perfect way, but I'm just trying to say like that's like no one's gonna hate you. They're gonna be like, oh he's trying. And, and it's a good trying. It's not like, oh, wow, he tried, but that was really bad. It's like a, he's trying, he's gonna get it. Like, it's kind of like, it's like an encouraging try. Um, so that's not sympathy. That's not like a sympathy, oh, he tried and I want a second day. That's like a, you're gonna get there and I can see the growth and I can see the opportunity, so you're gonna get there. And um, that is a win in my books. I think that's a win. I mean, we have, we have females in the chat. Um, I believe they would... Th I think seeing a man who can grow is a very attractive trait. So meme regime, I think if you have the, the, the characteristic of growth, potential is, is very attractive. Look at that, Princess Fiona is just like potential baby. Boom, there you go. <laughs> so meme, that's how I would approach uh, playing, uh, playing neon in, enough to impress a girl. Uh, or impress a partner or whatever. Um, so you just want to get the rhythm. I mean, there's a million videos that are going to show you the exact way to... Um, <laughs> you, there's a million ways that you can set up how to play the guitar, right? There's a million ways that you can approach, like, the chord shapes, and there's heaps of people who are going to be like, this is how you do the crab claw method, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, honestly... Um, I don't even do the crab claw method. And there was like 35,000 people who wanted to watch the video of me playing neon. I have no idea why. So I played it wrong. I literally played neon wrong. And there were a majority of you, well, not majority, but there's quite a lot of you that found me through that video and you thought it was good enough. So there's no reason why you guys can't do that too. Um, if you want to pursue and really master it and like nail the crab claw method and exactly sound like John Mayer, you can totally do that too. Um, that's not something I'm interested in yet. Maybe one day. But it's just getting the timing correct. So, And that's all you're going to do, meme. You're just going to practice that timing. Just getting... And by timing, I just mean that just rocking that rhythm. When sky blue gets dark enough. And then the other thing... Uh, this is for you know, making jo guitar jokes. I mean, there's going to be too many of those. But they're, they're a bit redundant for me. Um, but what's going to happen, mean when you're, because you're asking about how do I get the melody correct, to get the melody correct, and you're like, oh, I'm struggling to sing in tune, um, you need to get the song recording. So you're going to get the recording, and then you're going to get a recording of yourself singing to the song. And then you're going to listen back to yourself singing that song. And you're going to be like, and when you're doing it, do not, do not sing lyrics. Sing like doo-doos. Do 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 and that's it and you record yourself and then listen back to that recording of that and then um pick out the, and then use your ear to be like, okay, well, that sounds wrong, that sounds wrong, that sounds wrong, and you fix it. And you keep trying to get closer and closer. Eventually your ear will be able to monitor in real time whether you are singing it or correctly or not. So what, whenever you're trying to practice um, something vocally, um, because there's three elements that you need to nail when you're practicing a vocal, it's the rhythm of the vocal, which is most important, it is the lyric of the vocal, and it's the melody of the vocal. 
and you do not want to practice all three at once. Um, you are not, if you are a beginner to intermediate, even early professionals, you are not good enough. I am telling you, there is no one who's at that level that is good enough to practice all three at once and absolutely nail it right away, um, unless it's a super easy thing. Um, you really want to be like, okay, well, what's the vocal rhythm? Really nail that. Then you go, what's the vocal melody? Really nail that. What's the lyrics? And then you put them all together, and then that's how you nail the, uh, the, uh, the vocal. Uh, and that's how I would 100% approach it. So... How to play neon to impress a girl. There's your tutorial. I will clip it, put it on YouTube. It'll get a million views. We go viral. And, uh, and then all I do is live stream for the rest of my life. Woo! Uh, probably not going to happen. But as long as you got a bit of value from it, meme, I'm stoked as. Uh, now, I have two minutes left uh, before I actually have to go and do a, do a lesson. I'm finishing off my last lessons. I've got, I've got about like... I don't know, I think something like six or seven more lessons to go and then I'm done teaching uh, professionally. Uh, with uh, You will have to report back. Yes. Lucas T, I'm so sorry that you had that experience. See, my wife said I sucked at the song and then she gave me some time to, to make up for it and then I, and I did well. But I, I do remember when I first tried to learn how to play, like learn how to sing, I remember I first started learning how to sing and, and the 100% and the across the board uh, reaction by everyone when I said, hey, I'm going to learn how to sing um, was you should stick to playing guitar. And that was, that was uh, across the board uh, the consensus for a good two years. <laughs> uh, and look at me now. Anyway. We got like one minute to play a song. What would you guys like? Really, really fast.